Islands. Today in this installment of let's make a game in one month and a half, uh, we're gonna take a look at how I am making a background for my game. So here, this is what we're gonna do today. This is like the background that I quite like for the different world of my game. Uh, and I would like to start to import them into Godot. So that's what I'm gonna do today. Uh, like, the, as you can see that they're quite varied, but they have like a sort of like theme in common. Like they have like a, a specific type of color. Like I try to get things into a specific uh, specific order like uh, each world have like a, a minimum amount of colors on average between three to, uh, to to seven because like this it helps me to like get better at uh, designing uh, things and also the visual identity of the game is uh, highly based on like a sort of simplicity that I quite like so if I uh, take that well for example this one is a very important one because that's the one that I've made uh, that was the last one that I've made I think I've made it like a month ago or something and uh, this one has element of UI like for example here you have have like the uh, UI for the um, uh, the potential inventory that is right there it's on a different layer of course <laughs> of course I don't name them uh, automatically great because like I prefer to like spend uh, hours and hours to try to try to find what I've made like a month ago like come on now but um, the thing is like this one is like very uh, very important so like I think I'm gonna keep that sort of like idea of having a, a bar at the bottom of the screen where you have like all your power up weapon those kind of things uh, we have this one, this one I think gonna be the second world, or maybe another one. I haven't decided the order yet, but like this one gonna be a sort of like um, basement mechanic type of, uh, of uh, environment, if that makes sense. Like this is, there's gonna be like a lot of like steam type stuff, and maybe it's gonna be a laboratory, I don't know yet to be fair. Uh, this one is uh, another one, it's quite nice, I don't know what it is. And this one is a sort of like uh, sub garden type uh, of places. Again, very simple, but very very effective in my opinion <laughs> and the thing that i forgot is that this those those stuff here yeah, this <laughs> this looks like little turd little yellow turd <laughs> Ah, so dumb. Like, I think at first I designed them like to be like a um, sort of plant, but like right now it just looks like turd. Oh my god. So anyway, so today that's what I'm gonna do. So like the project is open right here and i'm gonna uh, show you a bit of how i'm putting that into place because i've, I've developed a sort of little method that is very effective that works well so that's what we're gonna see today so the first thing that i need to do actually is not to be in godot but like <laughs> in my files in itself which is trying to make sense of all that mess uh let's take this one for example uh so here i have my item that are inside the inventory so that's okay here i have a bit of ui so already the ui is like a bit di divided into like different stuff which is not good this one anyway i'm not gonna use it for now i'm gonna make a specific video in the future this layer 7 is uh, uh, background background stones okay i think the title for the ground is done so that's good i i still think that i need to uh, to make some more connection tiles here but i will check that later on so this one is good i'm just also gonna continue to take some things uh, i need to take some element here um. it into my tile set too I'm gonna just change that I'm gonna put this one here this one I'm gonna put it here and this one I'm gonna put it here so I just have my stone and what else do I need the UI I'm not gonna do it today so that's fine so okay so I have I have everything that's fine perfect so now I just need to save all of this like that save i'm gonna save that tile set i'm gonna put that into uh bu -bu 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 tile set uh, uh, tile set 
underscore world two. Let's have a look. So now I have it. Uh, save it as a sprite. I just need to uh, save it as a PNG file like this, so like that. I have it. Everything is good. So now I can go back to Godot and I can start to like do actually my thing. So like I'm back on Godot. No, <laughs> I'm back on Godot and now I'm just gonna uh, create a new a new stuff. So what I'm gonna do is like I'm clicking on the plus. I'm gonna look for a new um, node. It's gonna be called world 2 so uh the way i'm doing my background is this way like my uh, canva for my levels is if i go back to one of them for example this one my canva size is 320 by 180 which is a very small thing if i click on the percentage uh, key on my keyboard which give me like the um, the actual uh, real size of my canva on the screen this is this this is what i'm working with <laughs> and that's very very small and so uh, what i do is like i use that in godot so i can uh, globally have a, a sort of like mark to create my levels so there's one thing that i forgot which is going back to my background i just need to get the background this one here so i just need to save that one so i'm just gonna come here i'm gonna click on save as and i'm just gonna put my uh background one it's in world two foreground okay or background i need to put it there i need to find a better way to to deal with my things um so i'm gonna save it as a png save as so now here's the things I'll go back to godot here i'm gonna just uh create a new tile map that tile map i will take care of it later uh, and here i'm just gonna create uh, on the world too I'm, I'm gonna create a new node 2d this one and i'm gonna call that i'm gonna uh, call that level 2d level underscore one and now that level gonna have like the sprite 2d so this one's gonna be for my background then i'm gonna have another one that's gonna be uh, for my foreground foreground and then another one for like different element of what am i doing here sprite 2d and actually what i'm gonna do is like i'm just gonna duplicate this one several times like this so now i go back to my level go back to my background and i'm gonna just uh, go to where it is like where is it i don't need this one i need my sprite world 2 i need my background foreground I don't have it, so if I save it as a PNG or as a... Um, where did I save it? Save as... Lone Knight, Background, Foreground, World 2. Okay, so... Let's see... Background, Foreground, World 2... Here I don't have... Ah, voilà, World 2. I need to have like my background here, so I'm just gonna drag it and I'm gonna put it here. So now here I have my uh, background for my uh, for my level, and what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, click off uh, center, and now I can use that, and I can just like Control D, it's gonna create a level two automatically, and then I can just go to the transform, and here for example I want to move the position to, uh, to 320 uh, on the right. And so like this, I have now uh, my second level. And so this is good because this helped me to not have automatically all the time to have to re-import everything. And I can see how the connection is working uh, in the game. That's what I. That's how I do things. And so now I just need to have my foreground. So my foreground is going to be... Uh, I'm going to put the structure first. I'm going to come here. I'm going to tick off center. So like this, I have my... Uh, my uh, my foreground or maybe my background i don't know at this point uh here spread 2d i'm gonna have this one here i'm gonna also tick off centers so here i have a basic of like things and so now for example so this is actual my actually my uh background free bg free here i think i'm gonna call it structure because that's what it is and so here now I need to bring other stuff. So here, for example, I'm going to bring my statue. So for that, I need to go back to my tile set, which where is it already? I forgot. Tile set world, where did I save it up? I save it in Lone Knight Sprite tile set. Okay. Lone Knight. So 
to 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 tile set it's going to be thing here tile set world 2 voila so now i'm going to drag this one here it brings all my tile set and uh, i'm just going to go to uh, region I'm going to click enable and so now it disappears and I have now the possibility to edit the region and here what I want to do is I want to just get my uh, statue so I'm going to do something like this make sure that it's going well I can close and so now I have my statue so now I can call this one for example statue underscore one and I can move it where I want it to be so for example I can move it around here and then I can take this one I can uh, actually I can take this one and I can duplicate it and instead of having uh, that statue here I can go to region edit region and I can uh, get this one for example close and so now I have this one and I can put it around here for example then I can grab this I can just put my tile set here as I already have created it like let's use it go enable edit region and so now I can use some other things so for example this can be stone I can put that here for example something like that uh, this can be uh, stone underscore one and then I can copy it and I can put it something like here and then I can go to edit region and then I can copy that here and get get it like this and see like the the, the 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 thing is way more streamlined so now I can go to this one and I, this one I can call it trees and here what I would like to do is I would like to have like several one so what I'm gonna do instead of saving them as a specific uh, just sprite 2d I'm gonna go to my level one I'm gonna click on plus I'm gonna click on node 2d here and that node 2d gonna nest the tree so here I'm gonna come here I'm gonna put the tree and I'm gonna put this one here I'm just gonna remove the two that has been made automatically and here I want to get my tile set And here I'm gonna get, for example, this one. So I'm gonna go to region, enable, edit region, and I'm gonna grab that one that is right here. So now I have my uh, my tile set here. I just move. I'm just gonna move this like that. Uh, I'm gonna create a new one. This one's gonna be the trunk. And here I'm gonna get my region, edit region, and I'm gonna get my trunk. So I think I'm gonna get this one. And I'm gonna put it something like this and now this is where the thing is cool so here tree I'm gonna go to uh, ordering and I'm gonna put it at one so like this it appears uh, on top of the trunk and so now I can take my tree thingy I can put it so for example right around here for example something like this and I can just now just do something like this I'm gonna do tree underscore one and now I'm gonna copy that it's gonna be tree two. I'm gonna come here, and here I'm gonna change the uh, the actual uh, things in the region. So I'm gonna come here, edit regions, and this time I'm gonna take the big one right here, this one, uh, this like this. I think I'm alright. That's good. And uh, I can take another trunk. So the trunk, for example, I can take this one. I'm gonna take the big one right here. So something like this. So I can come and then now I have my uh, tree too and I can put it like that. So that's cool. So now th this is how I'm starting to make my games little by little. And so now what I can do is like I can just delete the, the level uh, level two. I don't need it. I can just take my level one here and I can just do control D and then I can redo what I've done with the, the level two at first. I can go to the transform and here I can put 320 and so it copy uh, exactly the things like that you can see it's not perfect so here for example this is because i lack uh, variety in my tile set at the moment so i need to make more uh, things i need to make more design but here there's a simple trick that i can use which is this one i'm gonna go to my level i'm gonna go to my stone one and i'm gonna put my stone like this and i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger i think something like this up, voila <laughs> and that's that <laughs> sneaky uh, boy it's not it's not perfect obviously but like that's something that is quite good enough so here I can put that's not that that I want to do I want to go to my statue here 
and this one I want to move it maybe around here for example uh, the other statue which is this one I want to move it maybe like this and so now what I need to do is like I need to create the, the time uh, the tile set so for that I just need to go to my tile map I'm gonna create a new tile set new tile set <laughs> And so now I can just draw my stuff like this. So I'm gonna draw something like that. I'm gonna come here. I'm gonna put something like this. Something like this. And this is the beauty of creating game with Godot. Up, voila. Voila. I'm gonna put something here. And something here. So now I just need to put something, a limit here. I'm gonna bring my uh, enemy, uh, my player. I'm gonna bring my original player in the scene. I'm gonna put it here, something like this. Uh, and in, on which collision my player is? One, it can collide with three. So I need to put my tile map on three and it can collide with one. So the custom layer, air physics layer is on three and it collides with one. So now I can save and I can launch that scene and let's see. Yeah, it's good. So I just need to have a camera, obviously. So I'm just gonna go there. And let's see my camera. Where is my camera? My camera is right here. I'm just gonna prefer, I'm just gonna make it as a scene. So I'm gonna come here uh, and I'm gonna save branch as scene. Oh, voila. And I'm gonna save that into my scene folder. I'm gonna put it into UI like this. And so now I can bring it into my world world 2 camera voila and so let's have a look voila so that's cool so now i can technically play my game and i can make the adjustment uh, needed i have my camera for the player those kind of things and this is good i just need to make sure obviously that i can like continue to make the um, different background and stuff but this i will do it in a further video because there's no need for me <laughs> right now to do so and so now I have like uh, the beginning of a new world that I can continue to work on. And so what I want to do is just I want to bring my uh, old player, <laughs> my new player, sorry. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to come back to my world too, up, and I'm going to bring my new player. Let's have a look. So my new player is right there, and I'm going to bring it here, and I'm going to put it also on two. And so now. I have the two. <laughs> this is so dumb. Oh, I love it. I've made, by the way, I've made some animation for that little, uh, that little uh, new player. I'm gonna show you. Voila. And here I've made like some little animation. I'm gonna show you. So that's quite cool. No. Up. Let's come. And so here I have like the idle animation. And I have a walk animation. That's what I've made so far. So that's quite cool. So I don't know yet if I'm gonna use that uh, that uh, design, but for me it looks quite alright. So I think I'm gonna continue to investigate that. And anyway, I have my old player, so that's fine. But there it is. Like this is how I'm making my level on average. If you want to have like a, a, a more like a detailed way of how I am creating the pixel art, I can show you. Like uh, I can create new one. But at the moment, I'm really trying to work as much as I can on uh, finishing the uh, the first draft of the the game, so I can make a demo on uh, on Steam for the end of January. And if you are ar arriving up to now and you haven't wishlisted the game, you can wishlist it, link in the description. Me, I want to thank you for watching. I hope this uh, new format is helpful for you and you like it. Uh, me personally, I have quite lots of fun to make it. Uh, and uh, I want to thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. See you guys.